stopped over at Chipotle real quick just to grab some food as I'm on my way to Abel's. Now, of course, I end up keep picking whatever this like ingrown, it's not herpes, but the ingrown, <laughs> the ingrown hair that's on my upper lip and now it looks like herpes, but it, I can assure you it's getting worse throughout the video. So I, I can't edit that out. I keep playing with it and that's my own fault. So I'm gonna, me and my little herpy are gonna go over to Abel's shop and take a look at the exhaust manifold that Turblown, Elliot from Turblown has made. So this is a fancy piece of machinery I am about to check out for the first time. Hey, hey, hey. where's the manifold? Yeah, where's the manifold at? What? The manifold has not gotten here? This hurts. There we go. He sent me a Dell. <laughs> Christmas time. That's right. That is looking pretty sexy. I think I'm keeping this one. I can <laughs> no, keep this no, one. No, you can't keep I that one. I got one I can give you over what? there. What? No. <laughs> wow. God, that thing is Very, very shook. nice. That's a million times better than what you have. Yeah. Wow. Get to work, son. <laughs> um, we need to find out what these are. Studs all the way through or the one that has no, the... No, it's going to have half for that, so that small, and then have it big like that so we can put the turbine. So kind of half there. and then three quarters of our yeah. inch on the other side? Or to oh, see, that's... where's the turbine housing? Bring the turbine oh, housing. Yeah. Let's see how the three rotors about to come back to life. And then um, you got to go to the counter. You want plastic, you don't want the steel ones like a father said. No, nah, you got you to get two different sizes right here to put this coil on. If I get studs... We can reach those nuts, every single one of them, if we put studs in there. If ever you need to remove the turbo, you just take the four studs and it comes out easy. It has a guide already. Okay, I, I see where you go with that. See, see? so I'm gonna get studs. Yeah. These are the shit, dude. Really? Oh man, it's gonna bolt up so nice. Don't ever have to worry about this sucker with this gasket and that ever loosening again. Nice. Okay, yeah, so I can bring a washers. So it's not just like that, you know what I mean? Got a nice washer on there. So here we have the 60 millimeter wastegate, which is massive compared to my 244s. But uh, of course, the surface area of one is almost the same as both of those. It's pretty, it's pretty damn close. Not, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna mount this in terms of the exhaust. We'll see if we have enough space over here to have it come out this way, or maybe like my old manifold have the exhaust vent out through the bottom to the ground. So in the day and age of technology, you'd expect to see more sensors and more inputs to your ECU, and sure enough, this manifold has those. Right down here, you see one of each of the three exhaust gas temp sensors. Why three different ones? Well, one for each of the rotors to tell it the exact combustion temperature, or at least immediately afterwards, between the three. You're looking at the difference, because if something is combusting hotter, that's generally telling you that you need to tune the difference between the three rotors. Additionally, this is one of my personal favorite features, is a exhaust back pressure sensor. This ultimately ends up going through that full function charcoal canister before it's connected directly up to the ECU and tells you the back pressure sensed from the outside of the engine to the turbo. What does that tell you? Well, it's really relative to be able to see how much back pressure your turbocharger and the rest of the exhaust past the turbocharger is causing. Rotor engines, like most engines, hate back pressure. So we can, again, measure, and you could try different turbos and different things to see what housings and what turbochargers are giving you the best results. Now this little piece is actually pretty awesome. Abel had this made for all of my coils. These little guys here, you know, the basically what creates the spark. So in this case, we're gonna be using a variety of these longer bolts, as well as nylon washers to space them properly from each other and from the edge of this mounting plate. So I've got two, two, and two. There you go, a mostly complete set of coils and a nice custom rack. Yeah, Abel's right. I just looked at it. This this is what I was using for my exhaust manifold bolts and nuts. This is what he suggested using. 
And his exact words were, this will make sure that manifold never falls off. And I can be inclined to agree. So I just tightened the middle exhaust bolt right there. And you're gonna see that, of course, this is sized really spot on. I gave him specifics as to where I wanted the turbo to end up, and he pretty damn well nailed it. That is really on point. Let's go ahead and get the turbo reassembled and put it up there and see where it fits in. The current problem was something that we anticipated potentially running into, and that's the fact that putting these in order, installing them, this area just becomes very much in the way. We wanted to get the turbo away from the intake manifold as far as possible, so it's in a good position, but as you can tell, the bolts or the studs aren't going through, so it's not sitting all the way down into the spot it's supposed to be in. So that is not the final resting place. It's going to actually end up being a little bit lower. All right, getting, getting closer. Well, so trade off this for having space between those. Since Abel loves blasting above and beyond the playlist, I have to voice over this section. So what you see here is that the V-bands, both here and here, have to be adjusted so the center oil feed is on the top of this turbo. My hand's over there for no reason, but what you can see is I'm gonna adjust that one and this one so that feed is in the center. We also found that my downpipe was actually reusable. The downside is a lot of the exhaust leaks were because of this not being in round. It took me about a half hour to file this entire thing down. There we go. 